Maybe when we grow up, these designs will be used. I want to know that which material is good for building boats. We can use plasticine. We can use the wood, plastic, and cardboard. I made a boat like that. It cycles well, but from the sea. This book collects all of the rubbish from the sea. We predict it will float. We made Boats out of wood, we predict they will flow. What does strong metal do? It takes people to We made a boat out of plastic. We think it will float because it's light. Plastic is less dense than water. Recycling is good for the environment. We made a boat with cover, we predict it will flow. Our boat is an animal from the plastic in the sea. We like designing by 40 feet, so now we want to do more farming. Our project is today the future of the sea. Ships are important vessels. Cargo ships are important for our economy. They transport lots of different things to all the countries worldwide. Um, however, they can, they can damage the seeds by pollution. <laughs> now, since ships impact on the climate change, we must do something now. And so we research how our ships can be improved in the future. We need to create more food. We need to um, reduce reduce um, the amount the amount of more ships use. We have to make faster ships so the goods don't take long to get their destinations. We can also use materials such as glass. Plus, I got her and plus plus to make the ship lighter. And use so much energy. Ships can be controlled by remote, like in video games. Very, very clean factories and all the clean suggestions to make them lighter and smarter and save our seeds in the future. Hello, my name is Sachmi. My project is a flying undercar and when Just drive underwater. Hello, my name's Sophia and my project is a flying and going on the water car. And if you want to go in the air, you just press any button and then it just starts to fly. It can drive by itself, but it but you tell it to go left, right or forwards and then it and then it does it. Hello, my name is Abisi and my project is called Jetwet and it can go on the water and fly. We just press any button and then it flies or goes on the water. Hi, my name is Arian and I, my project is a flying police car. It can fly and it can 
can drive. If you want it to fly, uh, you can press any button. And my name is Kun. If um, the name of the Kun is um, Sinky Turbo. And if you want it to take a wheel, it will take two wheels on one side. My my name is Aria and this is a unicorn and it can fly and drive and, and it can also um, be turning to a house when, it, when the people know where they live their um, home to be. I'm Rick Mundi and this is my project. This can go fly. And if you if you want to go underwater, it can't go underwater, and it, it can turn into a boat. My name is Kevin, and th I made a stickman car, and he can roll and get stuff, and he can can get stuff and help people to not get hurt. My name's Jacob and I made an invention that can plant underwater plants and they comes. My name's Aaron because I am because this can be you can fly underwater and can be you can go when you go in flight, you go right down and then you're gonna be right in the bottom and then you can fly. My name is Emily and this car can fly. Is all about the future of space travel. This is Windows and Elm Space Hotel. Woo! There is three places where you can stay in the space hotel. You can also check in at the bottom of the, the space hotel. Most of the people stay in the middle. The top level is where the rich people stay and it is the most expensive. You get the best view of space. You can you also, see, you can you can also see, see Mars! As you can see, there is little rockets around the street for hotel for people to it is 1,000 pounds and you can take pictures around the Milky Way. Thank you for watching. This is Elm Class's space lab and we have these solar panels so that it floats and it floats and it gets energy. The telescope is for the scientists to see from far distance. Why this is for um, like um, sending messages to us? The models are Reproducible as it comes out as air. 
The electric doesn't break the shell around the earth because no smoke gets produced. It's just air with currents of electricity. So firstly, we've got a big piece of wood. Then I got six little pieces and made a little house. Then I painted all of this, the grass and the little house. Then I made these little, little figures. First, I got a shoe from I cut it into a square. Next, I got the extra part and glued it in into a rectangle. Then, I got a blue piece of paper and put it at the top to look like it was water. Then, I got some blue pieces and made them into round circular pipes which water would go into. Then I made the windmill so then the water would go round and round. Then I made the motor to produce electricity. So this is our project um, uh, for the future of IT and it's called the, um, the Floating Rainbow. Uh, it, um, we got ins inspiration from the movie Up, uh, uh, how it floats, and instead of balloons making a float, uh, there wasn't balloons. We, instead of the colourful balloons, we made like this colourful room, and then we got the background also, uh, which is uh, which uh, we really like, it's our favourite thing. Uh, I've got a lot of inspiration from other movies and uh, it was really uh, fun to make like the roof it's a bowl yeah and the roof is a bowl and then the chimney is like a toilet paper thing and then uh, and then the house is like this cardboard box and we try to make it as colorful as we can isn't that for the future bathroom it's a robot and you made it by just putting two boxes up on each other. And we made the body. So, um, how we made this, so we put two boxes on top. We added some extra some tape, um, so just in case it doesn't fall. And we made some arms. We also painted it, and we also added an extra um, top bit. So uh, then we made some eyes, we put a Coca-Cola can on it and we made some extra eyes on the bottom over here because um, we couldn't see from the top because if we put it on then we can't see from here so we just made an extra bit so if we need to uh, put it on and see then we can just see from here and we normally just put this down if we um, don't want to anymore. So then we um, made the mouth with some tape. we painted it red and I made a remote control with it. So I made, I cut out some cardboard, then um, I got some two strips and then I put it on the remote control and then I wrote in green pen um, remote control for the robot. This is my and it is a time machine. This is the calendar and this is the arrow where you can point to to where you can time travel to. Then these are the buttons, the future path. Then this one you can just do anything to this a magical one. Then this is the pie and you can spin this to what you want to make it. This is my robot. It's called the Everything Robot. Any book you ever ask it, it will do. So there's different buttons. This is the on and off button. The rest of the buttons you can write on and pick what you want them to do. This is my recycled piggy bank made from water bottles. The way how it works is that you drop in some money and then when you're ready, 
of dropping some money through the slit and when you're ready you can shake it out instead of buying a piggy bank from the store you can just use it from recycled water bottles which is much more better. My name is Siwa and today I'll be presenting to you our invention for future medical science. This is Hubert and she will be helping us with medical related tasks around the school. Hubert can be used to replace the medical ladies such as Miss Selenki or Miss Jem. As you often see, they are always running around school, always so busy, so Hubert will be there to release their stress. This is where it gets even better. It's not only designed to replace medical staff, it's, it's also designed to detect illnesses. For example, if a child's sick and, and the teacher doesn't know, Hubert can go to Thomas Hamilton to call Thomas Hamilton to call parents, the parents so they can come and pick the children up. And it will be really helpful nowadays because we're going through the pandemic and it will keep us more safe. Our, our teacher is always, always rushing to complete medical forms. We got can, can do them so the teachers can focus on what's really important to us. COVID-19 has taught us that hand sanitizer and more face masks are very important. As the gate, who, who will detect diseases and dispense hand sanitizer. That, so the teachers won't have to stand outside in the freezing cold weather. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. I think that Hubert will help out a lot around the school. Our next project will be Brook Bar for our sister school, Brookside. And the best thing is, she'll never have to isolate. So this is the cancer screener, and when someone stands inside it and detects where the cancer cells are, and then you, um, and it sees where it is in the whole body. And once it's detected where it is in the body, it will um, use a vaccine to try and get rid of it. So this is this is uh, Maisie, the medicine maker. It's named after me because I'm called Maisie. Um, so you type in a medicine and then you press go, and then the medicine will come out of the mouth um, within five minutes, and you take it out of its mouth. If you want more of that same medicine, you press repeat, and then it will come out. If you want even more, press repeat, and then if you want to do a new medicine, you press clear and you type the new medicine in and press go. So this is me and he has the pharmacist. So um, he can give us a medicine and um, write prescriptions and um, store them um, in the store place. And um, he can um, walk. And, and then on the back there are some buttons which can charge him. I press forwards and then it moves forwards. And then there's left, right, down, up. So if I press all of those, there's this. And there's Dr. Bob. Uh, in, in the future, uh, he, will, uh, <coughs> he will replace the doctors from the hospitals. Um, he wants to make uh, his patients happier. Because um, <clears throat> uh, he will uh, um, know what is the, the um, what is the illness, and um, uh, no matter what type of illness, he will uh, um, uh, treat it in the shortest time. Uh, uh, now in a hospital, uh, the patients are treated in a week, but he will uh, treat them in uh, 40, uh, 24 hours. Uh, uh, when uh, he will treat you, you will uh, not feel any pain. So this is my brother. It helps with first aid and whenever you, you have like a problem, it will help you. And, uh, and, whenever, and whenever there's something wrong, it will come right to you. The TP 3.0 is a machine that helps children in class when they need help. Uh, 
GTB is an intelligent robot. It was created to help children that are struggling with school. This will be useful in the future because you wouldn't need to go to school. GTB can be your teacher. The mouth is a speaker so you can ask any math operation you can think of and it will respond with the correct answer. If you've got any basic questions, there's a calculator at the back. It has a huge bookmark right? and it's also a dictionary. GTB can test you on all the things you learn and speaks different languages so you don't have to wait until you go to secondary school. Just because it's mainly for school, you, you can't have fun with it because it's all the time. Hi, my name is Karen Nandy and this is my name for the future. To make it, I use cardboard, box, tape, scissors and two bottles. I use the box as a recycle bin on the tummy. I use the two bottles and put them as vacuum feet. They are va the vacuum feet. There's a littering fine on the front. If it sees someone litter, it'll give them a fine. Um, on one of the arms, there's a mask dispenser if someone needs a mask. And on the other arm is hand gel if someone needs a hand gel. In the future, it can be used instead of cardboard. It will be used as metal, so it's stronger. In the and it's good for the environment. This may the amazing future helper is a robot that has compartments filled with pencils, pens and rubbers. It can help you with work and has the latest software. This is a robot that will really improve life. It can talk and tell jokes as well as it has an automatic sharpener and a rubbish bag and a rubbish bin. So this is my project and his name is Chester and it's the stationary dispenser 3000 and Chester is named after chestnut class and it's a useful mobile stationary dispenser. Here is the prototype which you can see here and it will be made out of metal and some plastic material. Chester is controlled by a remote control which navigates it around the class. The remote control, the wheel attached at the bottom. In the future, we hope it we hope it to have bigger wheels to make Chester stable. Chester will help students to get their stationaries without getting up and disturbing the teachers. It also has a compartment rubbish rubbish compartment collection, making teachers happy. So right now I can drive it, and then in here you open it, and then you can get your colour out and. There's a bin at the back over here, which you can put all, all your rubbish in, and um, yeah. Hi, my name is Daniel, and I would like to present to you Chris, the newest invention for restaurants. He delivers you your food, because in these troubling times, we can't, like, see each other, because we have to wear masks and social interaction. This robot doesn't do any of that. We can just send him, the chefs can just send him, and he will just deliver you your food and he comes with a receipt so you can pay and you have a little app on your phone so you download it and you order from them and the robot comes to you. <laughs>